In this example, we'll change a run of pipes from one type to another. We will view the pipes in 3D, modify the fittings, and make revisions to the pipes to match existing pipe network. We'll also modify ducts by capping open ends, and using the duct pipe sizing tool, we'll modify the duct fittings, and then finally, we'll add a lining to all of the duct networks. So firstly, I need to make sure I'm in the O1 mechanical plan, and I'll zoom into the AHU units that were originally in this in previous videos. So the existing pipe run, we can see if we hover over this, is copper. But if we have a look at the pipe run that we put in in a previous video, they're actually standard. So what we need to do is change these pipe runs. So if I zoom out, so I can see the whole pipe run, and if I hover over any of these pipes, and then use the tab key twice, and then pick select, we can actually change this pipe run. Now we can't do this in the properties because the type selector is grayed out. So we've got a tool called change type, and this will change the whole run that we've got selected, in this case to pop up copper. I just need to do exactly the same for the return. So again, tap a couple of times, select that once it's highlighted, and change type in the ribbon. And we change that to copper. And now we've got both sets of pipe runs exactly the same. Now for the next bit, I'm going to actually open up our 3D mechanical view. But you can see here, we can actually still see the building, and this sometimes gets in the way. So what I'm going to do here is actually highlight the, the actual uh, 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 linked file and using the temporary hide element option. This makes it a lot clearer for me to actually work this and I can always turn this back on when needed. So let's zoom in to where these two pipe runs are. Now we've got a bit of a job here to connect these up together. So what I'm going to do, make this easier, I'm actually going to delete these two pipe runs like so. And then I'm going to actually change these bends here just by picking, selecting them and then select the plus that appears. And this changes the bend to a T-piece. So this will make it a whole lot easier for me then to draw some pipe from this. So let's just go back to the mechanical plan view. And I'm just going to remove the bits of pipe I don't need. I'm also going to remove these T's here because we're going to actually uh, add the, get these added in. And again, these, uh, you bend, these bends here, we're going to actually remove those. So now what I need to do is go back to the existing AHUs, and let's zoom in. Like here. I'm going to change the, uh, the, the the display to fine, so we can see a better view of the uh, the T pieces here. So I select one of these, right hand click on the connector, and draw pipe. And this will just draw, draw the pipe from that end, and I'll just go straight past that AHU unit. I'm not worried about accuracy at this point. Just make sure it's straight and do exactly the same for the return. So select the T piece, right hand click on the connector, and draw pipe. And again, send that back down, right down to the furthest AHU unit, unit, like so. So now I need to actually just tidy these up. You'll find that these aren't actually connected, they're just actually um, running next to each other. So in here, what I'm going to do, use the modify tool, I'm just going to use the trim and extend to corner and I just select the two pieces of pipe that I want to keep and it will actually add that those uh, components in there for my bends and so on. Now for the AH unit further down you'll see the pipes don't actually touch so I'm going to use the trim and extend single object. So all I do now is just connect the bits I want to actually connect into the main pipe work and there you can see the connectors all set up for me. So let's switch to the 3D mechanical view, just to get a better idea. I'm going to change the uh, view of the pipe now. We're going to change that to fine. So there's the existing AHU that we'd had in there, and these are the two we'd put in in the previous videos. All the pipe work sorted out really, really easily just by using those uh, those modify tools. So let's move on to the ductwork. How can we modify this? So the first thing I need to do is um, well, I want to check 
uh, if there were any open ends in, in this particular um, uh, layout. So I've got it under Analyze, I've got the Show Disconnects. Let's uh, select Duct. So it's the Duct Disconnects I'm after. It takes a little, uh, a couple of seconds because it does the whole, um, the whole model. And you'll find that there are going to be some disconnects for these air terminals here. These are the return air terminals that we haven't connected yet. But we've also got end caps missing. So a couple of things we can do. First of all, I'm going to, with this one, I'm going to select the duct, right-hand click on the connector, and say cap open end. And now you can see it's capped that lovely for me for the right size. Now the other option I've got is I can actually just select the piece of duct. And you'll see in the ribbon, we've actually got cap open ends. So we select that and it will actually cap the open ends that we've got from the uh, selected duct. I can now turn off the uh, show disconnects, just take away the duct option here, and it will actually remove that for me. Now the beauty of this now is we've got a closed um, uh, uh, duct run, so if I uh, highlight the, the duct run, just to hover over the uh, one piece of the duct and hit the tab key a couple of times, select, we've now got in the ribbon the duct and pipe siding. There's lots of things we can change for our settings in here. What we're going to do is just accept the uh, what exists and you can see here's our, um, our duct now resized. So I'm going to switch to the mechanical plan view here and move to the um, to the duct and I'm just going to modify this. I'm just going to remove that uh, transition here just really to move down the this piece of duct so we can actually remove part of the larger duct. Now in this case I'm going to right hand click on the bend and draw duct and I've done that this way because I want that size duct as far down as possible and it will put the transition in for me um, automatically. So there's my sized duct now all I need to do is I'm going to select this again using the um, tab option and I'm going to add a lining here but now I've, I, I can't add lining if I've got something like air terminal selected so I'm just going to use the filter and make sure I've only got the duct fittings, duct and flex duct. This will allow then, then allow me to go to add lining and in the add lining I've got the option then to change the size so I'm going to make this a 15mm thick lining and OK. And if I deselect this now and we zoom in, you'll see we've actually got our lining added with our dotted line. So that's modifying ducts and pipes. Mm -hmm.